Hey, hey, hi, ho, cat guys and Hunger Game Glass, and today I'll tell you everything about a Walker class because I'm playing this class for a month and yeah, I know about it something. So, actually, uh, this is very powerful, very interesting class to play. It has a lot of AoE abilities, for example, Firestorm, it's a uh, AoE control ability which stun, uh, Frost Field, another. Uh, with very low cooldown uh, control skill freezes for two seconds ice lens again another control skill freeze for two and a half second so you see this class has three very strong control which you can use one by one and it would just you could control all screen with these three case another useful control is black hole which could you could help you to gather all enemies around to one point some people telling that uh, this class has four control i am not agree it's free free uh, control spells and black hole it's not really control it's gathering gathering ability all this uh, control skills they do not make much damage so for damage we have another skills we have flame field it's staying for six seconds and make a lot of damage we have uh, icicle storm it's like blizzard huge damage for three seconds and also it, it could uh, freeze your enemy so you could call you could if you take special talent you can make this uh, skill control skill this is meteor you see it has some delay so in pvp people could avoid it and run away starfall it's better because it's harder to far uh, to run from starfall it has a lot of um, se several projectiles so we have uh, four main aoe skills and they are ever some if we play uh, pve right order to use them flame field then icicle storm then meteor then starfall if you play pvp then you could go like this meteor starfall icicle and flame field you could boost flame field too in our as a AOE at 20 versus 20 battleground it could make uh, some things so ma main power for pvp it's uh, starfall meteor strike and actually even not meteor strike but another skill right now i have a pve set uh, there is flame spear skill and flame spear it's another very uh, powerful uh, skill which make a lot of damage in in a line so uh, if you choosing your which skills to take it's important for the villain and for other classes to look at your invent uh, items so you have to find items with uh, proper bonuses for example you see right now I just found this budget event so I didn't change my skills but with this equipment I have to change my build you see it give flame spear plus 330 damage so yeah I have to choose I have to change my build you could change your build anytime with free reset of skill points it's very useful so let's uh, talk about another skills quite useful uh, AOE skill bouncing lighting it's looking like look like this you could add it to these four, but uh, these four it's very easy to find enemy with them. It's very easy to put your spell in target. With this bouncing lighting, you have to uh, actually to be precise because it's very easy to miss with this skill. Uh, your primary resource generator, it's lightning sphere. It's make 100 damage and it's restore your mana so you restore mana with this one i have it at left mouse click and you spend your mana with 
any uh, spender. I use bouncing lighting, I think it's the best one, even with nerf. Recently, uh, bouncing lighting was nerfed, but still, it's the best thing because you see, after you cast it, it leaves uh, a trail, in, uh, and uh, it's kind of very useful to use it because it makes a lot of damage. So, uh, right now, we have uh, three types of spender. It's lighting blast, which I use, uh, lighting spread. Mm, it's uh, less effective in PvE and PvP, but it, you need less mana for it. And uh, Flame Shuriken, it has very good mm, uh, area, but you see, you make only 30% uh, damage, but you could. Um, you could hit several times with it. So, and also lighting sp spread, they penetrate your enemies. But still, this one right now is the best because of huge damage, 150 and 50% 50 chance to uh, stay as this thing, this whirling, which uh, make uh, a lot of damage. No, not, not so much, but it's uh, useful. In PvE especially. So uh, when we spend our mana with Spender, we, res we restore it with our Lightning Sphere. Another um, way to restore, if you have one enemy, uh, could we do it here? Yeah, it's, we had to do it from beginning here. I'm sorry. <laughs> so um, you could. Uh, restore your uh, mana very fast with your uh, lighting sphere but if you have several uh, several enemies you could use chain lighting to restore your uh, mana very fast faster because in, when you cast chain lighting all times when you hit enemies you restore Five man and it's a lot so if you fight with several enemies better to restore mana with chain lightning but it has very big cooldown but still don't forget to use it it will give you a huge amount of mana when you need it at uh, raids or serious um, pvp pv so uh, another thing about our class it's uh, our support skills it's really else so we have mana shield its ability to reduce incoming damage by 30% it's very much so uh, it's in control section mana shield and you could uh, try a uh, room for move speed could be useful if you are going ruined citadel for azaleas so mana shield could make you run faster by 25% it's a lot then we have Elemental Savant. This skill you have to use before you start your spender. So, for example, right now I use it and I have to spend less mana, much less mana. So, uh, you see, for 5 seconds mana cost reduced by 50%. So again, you have to use it when you have some mana, like 2 third. Uh, like this so you use this skill and you continue to push your mana back but it go very slow so it's very useful uh, thing which could give you huge boost to damage because all our skills they have big cooldown and you have to use your spender uh, very very often so you see like this so you start then push and you have huge amount of money you make huge amount of damage and wh when you end it you could uh, start with these skills again and finally we have our healing skill it's my favorite one because it's it's aoe heal which useful for your party which useful for your guild for raid so all people all players who stay in this circle they restore their health very fast and also i uh, i so much like this skill so i took 
time extension for it and the most important thing is defense P this uh, passive thing for this skill make it really uh, valuable because defense plus 30 percent for uh, four seconds it's a lot it's a lot so uh, try it guys T try this skill it's really uh, wicked so uh, what do we need else if you are want to be good a walker you have to use potions they have different cooldowns so it's useful to use them pve potion uh, pvp potion debuff immunity potion it's also necessary so you see what i like about this class that uh, it's possible to have a build where you got a lot of skills all skills except one last you could make your build so i have full bar of skills and it's even not all lightning spread i do not have a place for lightning spread of flame shuriken but i do not don't need them they're not really good so it's what i like about the walker my build the walker it's like uh, how we could call it uh, master of everything so you have huge amount of case you could do a lot of stuff it's always something to push you have you could always something to push and i like to play with a lot of keys and uh some players they prefer another build they prefer to use this one after you skill you have chance to decrease your cooldown for example uh, or maxing uh, skill damage it's also useful because a lot of damage coming from your spender so when you go like plus 12 percent for your spender it's huge amount but uh, still i like to be master of everything and uh, <clears throat> for different activities you could use different builds for example for pvp it's better to take a uh, flame spear um, especially if you have uh, special items but some in, we have different pvps in uh, 20 versus 20 meteor strike and starfall could be better than flame spear in 3 versus 3 flame spear would be better so it's very different we have a lot of uh, possibilities a lot of builds and it's quite fun so let me talk you tell you about uh, this um, Devilian form of my class of the walker our class we have again uh, your spender spender of your man you see it's my mana so i could spend it and also i could gain it with my second ability so two main abilities uh, i have very bad runes here don't uh, look at it <laughs> so i need to change them so uh when you Mm, this ability is AOE, so it's quite useful and they work uh, good. Uh, also, every fifth success of your fireball needs target, and when it's needed, it has more damage. Uh, I'm not sure about uh, bell fire, fire, but this fire pillar it has big cooldown. It's actually increasing 100 more damage. So burning enemies receive 100 more damage so you could use it uh, save your mana so tactics is basically tactics is like this you freeze your opponents then you cast fire pillar and then you use your uh, spend when you end of it you restore your mana and then use it and also if you go pvp it's very important to put uh, your Devillian heart here and to use it because it would give you possibility to restore your mana and to make more damage and of course you have to teleport uh, it's another useful thing uh, but actually I'm not big fan of Devillian PvP because it has too small amount of keys you see this big difference i have here full two ba two bars and here i have only five skills it's not my style of playing just so 
Uh, Evoker, it's very good, very interesting class to play with a lot of possibilities, with a lot of control, with a lot of AoE damage. Um, so, and it's also mobile, but it's very fragile. So you have to to have distance between you, you and monsters or and or players whatever in pve and in pvp you have to always to have some distance and also uh, your skills you see they have quite limited distance so if you play for example gunner he has more distance so you see it's like maximum for these skills so you can go too far away it's another disadvantage of our class fragile and not so uh, high distance class but still you see we have a lot of uh, useful stuff i like this class as a support dps uh, because i like to control a lot of stuff around me i like to be able to heal my allies um, and I like to be able to make damage, so it's quite fun um, to do so. So, guys, please write your questions about the worker. Please write your opinion about my guide. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be very glad to see your comments below at my video, uh, YouTube video. So, thank you very much. It was Tangar Game Glass. My mind.